Narito, ang programang totoong-totoo. Tambayan sa DWIZ. Programang magliliwanag ng ilang mahahalagang mga issue. Tambayan, tambayan sa DWIZ. At ngayon, narito na sila upang maghatid ng saya sa bawat Pilipino. Sa programang Tambayan sa DWIZ. Hello mga ga, welcome to Tambayan. Wala po akong kasama ngayon, although... Uh, Tony Awesome says he's on his way, or he should should be on his way. Uh, magandang umaga sa lahat ng uh, mga nakatambay sa Facebook and YouTube. So, dun sa mga nakikinig sa atin sa radyo, huwag kakalimutan mag-like and share sa ating Facebook page, TWIC882, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel, TWIC882 as well. Meron po kaming uh, page sa Facebook, para dun sa mga nakikinig sa atin sa radyo, don't forget to like and follow sa Luminous by Trixie Cruz Angeles and Ahmed Paglinawan. And sa, um, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> magandang umaga. Uh, Attorney Awesome was supposed to be, ano eh, to, to be leading today's show, pero wala pa rin siya. So, in the meantime, we will have to discuss yung mga politika natin ngayon. So, ano nangyayari? Medyo, ano ngayon, di ba? Medyo, over the weekend and uh, over the past few days, medyo may mga maiingay. Ang maiingay natin lately, of course, the Vice President, uh, Senator Manny Pacquiao, and uh, Mayor Isko Moreno. Which is not to say uh, it's negative or positive, but we know na may reason why they have to be early campaigning. And early campaigning is allowed, ha? Well, campaigning only in the sense na uh, they're trying to get our attention at nag, ano na sila, nagpo-posturing na po sila. Uh, some of our politicians uh, do it uh, more traditionally and with circumspection such as uh, former Senator Bongbong Marcos. Nagpapa, he goes around, he talks to people, nagpapa-interview na po siya, and naglalantad na siya ng agenda niya. Halimbawa, maliwanag na sinasabi niya na ang centerpiece, or at least isa sa mga main concerns niya, are very popular ones. Number one, agriculture. Uh, public utilities, number two. And uh, kasama dun sa number two, of course, ang ating internet or yung mga telecommunications and the service providers. So far, so good. Uh, his uh, um, style ni Senator Marcos is, hindi siya, there's no, how do you call this, walang siraan, walang, ano, walang personalities involved, issues lang. In the meantime, let's take a look at dun sa style naman ng kabila. Si Vice President Lenny Robredo, She cannot help it, but her handlers appear na ang gusto nila ay may patutsada parate dito sa ruling party, sa administrasyon. So, largely, kapag nagsasalita siya, there's always a pot shot at the only game in town, ang bida ng ating political narrative, uh, uh, ang bida ng, well, political show in any show, actually, is President Rodrigo Duterte. So, si Vice President, acting like the also starring in the uh, movie in her mind, ay parating patutsada dito kay President Duterte, his policies, his actions, every opportunity that she gets, there's always something to say. ba? Diba? Tuloy-tuloy yan. Whether it is something that he said, yung style niya, and so on. And even generality, such as yung mga silita niya lately, ang sabi niya ay nakafocus sa politics daw ang ating Pangulo, imbis na kayo mag-focus dito sa pandemya. Excuse me. Of course, not that we agree with this, pero it seems na ganito nga yung style niya. Whether it is generally, it is specifically yung presidente o yung administration niya, she can't help it, she, she keeps just hammering away. Tuloy-tuloy yan. And dun sa ano, sa mga also starring niya ay si Mayor Isko, of course, and um, Senator Manny Pacquiao. So, siya yung nag, ano, ha, siya yung nagka-characterize. In other words, siya yung nag-frame ng, pag, uh, ng roles nila dito sa kanyang mga political speeches. So, lately, ang ano niya is okay lang kahit si 
uh, Mayor Isko, kahit si Senator Pacquiao, basta we need to end this governance now. Ay, ibig sabihin niya, this sort of governance. Well, of course, it's still part dun sa kanyang narratiba, tuloy-tuloy-tuloy-tuloy pa rin siya hanggang ngayon, walang kakatapos-tapos, na what she's saying basically is she's holding up these two as any, uh, or as uh, an example of anyone. In other words, anyone is better than the current administration. We're not saying that we agree with, with, uh, with the president in thinking that she's such a lightweight, pero... Ganun po ang nangyayari. Now, we compare the style, Senator Bongbong Marcos, with the style of Vice President Lenny Robredo. And who do you think is coming off as the more professional? Eh, di syempre, the person who talks about issues rather than personalities. Who builds up rather than tries to destroy. Diba? We haven't factored in yet, syempre. Always at the top of our minds is, is she or isn't she going to run? with Mayor Sara Duterte, who has a shadow that looms very, very large over all of us. But is she going to run or isn't she? Ang teorya ng karamihan sa mga tao, she will, given na maraming nagtutulak sa kanyang presidency, because all of this effort would be in vain kung hindi man lang siya, you know, if she doesn't take a stab at it. But the good thing that she's doing is without talking about anything, she is already in the running. <laughs> Kumbaga. To the point na, di ba naparinggan siya ni Mayor Isko. And any politician who takes a stab, so to speak, at Mayor Sara Duterte gets a blistered retort in return. Alam niyo naman, si Mayora matapang sumagot and almost always you know, ends the conversation right there. So without any declaration of a candidacy, ang only statement niya regarding that is nag-iisip pa siya. Nakikipag-usap, pero nag-iisip pa siya as to whether or not she's going to take a run at a national position. Yet, people talk about her, and yet the surveys consistently and constantly show her as number one. If the elections were to be held today, no question, Sara Duterte appears to be the winner <laughs> without firing a single shot and that's the uh, so you can see now who are the forerunners everybody else seems to be an also run ay nako diba habol habol na lang everybody else mayor sara number one and a constant presence as either number two or constantly climbing is former senator bongbong marcos so okay in the meantime Babati lang muna ako sa lahat na nakatambay dito sa ating Facebook page. Si Edna, Ma'am Edna de Guzman de Quasen, Mamita Ferrer, Ma'am Annette Allegri D, uh, Ma'am Sara Mercado, Hermelinda Tubat, and Teresa de Soledad, Hazel, Hazel Agrisan, and Ma'am Mamita Ferrer. Magandang tanghali po sa inyong lahat. Oy, huwag niyo pong kakalimutan mag-like at share dito sa ating Facebook page kung doon po kayo nanonood. In the meantime, sino ba ang nakatambay sa ating YouTube channel right now? It's... Tama ba to? I hope I'm reading this right. Unless I'm watching the replay of Karambola, sandali lang po. Uh, we'll have to have a look doon sa, ano, sa, sa videos natin. Magandang tanghali kina... Uh, dami nyo ah. Antonio SC30, Ma'am Jennifer Ichikawa, uh, Brian Miguel De Sono, Shun Shun, Hap, Apple 4S, uh, uh, Francis Cayetano, sabi ni Sir Francis, maingay lang lagi pag walang laman. <laughs> Good one. Alvin M, Lady Punk, Chev, and Reynaldo Ruiz. Si Dio nakatambay din sa ating, ano. Ay, kay Ma'am Mina Solano, o nga pala. Si Ma'am Mina nagpadala kanina ng mga coffee concoctions. Maraming maraming salamat po. Hindi ko pa po natitikman. Hence, itong antok natin this morning. Sabi ni Sir Nestor Rivera, bulok ang style ng mga kabila. Good afternoon po. Uh, that's true. No, they're actually still stuck. And ito yung problema sa politika natin ngayon. They're stuck in what they have been doing for the past five years. Dahil wala silang maipakita 
na accomplishments, all of that had been done by the current administration, wala rin silang ideas na ma-push forward or no ideas that are actually good enough to implement. Baga, they have not come up with anything. So with a big fat zero to show for the last five years, the only thing they have is to criticize the forerunner. So ang strategy nila remains destroying Duterte. Yun lang at wala nang iba. How do they build themselves up? Halos wala rin tayong nakikita. Except possibly for what Shell Jokno attempted to do these past few days. Naglabas po siya ng isang photograph na nagpapakitang namamulan siya siya. <coughs> I don't know how effective this is going to be. Pero it does not show us an agenda. Hindi pinapakita kung paano siya magiging presidente. Mostly it's ad hominem. Yung message niya is, I'm so humble na mamulan siya ako. It's almost Gloria Labandera all over again, di ba? Yung, uh, oh, I'm so, ano, I'm so mortal. I'm hampas lupa like everybody else na mamulan siya ako. Di ba? So, uh, but does he have anything to show? Kung baga, meron ba siyang pinapakita sa atin na idea? Ano bang gusto niyang isulong? Alam natin na si Chel Jokno ay may mga justice concerns. Ang uh, mga concerns niya, uh, of course, pertain to the legal system, uh, human rights, and all of that. Pero, wala pa rin siyang sinasabi hanggang ngayon. Uh, may occasional na mga salita siya, usually against the president, and it's still the Lenny Robredo formula of destroy Duterte. But, he goes a little further. Meron siyang TikTok. Di ba? <laughs> Nagti-TikTok siya. And, What he's trying to do is, sinasagot niya yung mga criticism sa social media, such as, but not limited to, the way some people, let's say, make fun of his teeth or his appearance. So, to bolster the image of the, I'm the good guy, kunwari, sasabihin na, o sige, malaki nga ipin ko, but I'm going to take a bite out of corruption, or something like that. It's corny. And it's not working so far, di ba? Oops. Ay, maraming salamat kay Emerald Liak. Nagpadala po siya sa ating mga super sticker. Ansa na po si Ma'am Pinay Paparazzi, si Benedict Corpus, and si Edwin Desena, Cloud9 Romel Mendoza, LMX, Sheila Abahero, June Magat, Cesar magdurulan mag, ah, and of fear at saka si Billy Almighty Jurter Delgado and Ronald Darwan ay syempre habang nagsasalita ako dagdag dagdag Ma'am Marites Nocosmaki and Joselita Velmonte magandang tanghali uh, sabi ni musikerong panday continuing with the imagery maglabas sana si Chel Jokno na nagtutut brush um sabi ni Sir Francis, kaya tano, si Joke no, nagplan siya. So what? Wala pa din siyang kliyente nung nagpunta siya sa Supreme Court. Ayan na nga. The one thing na hindi magawa ng opposition ngayon ay ma-neutralize yung criticism of themselves. Eto pa. In the end, they all have to contend with another very powerful voice and that is President Duterte himself. Diba? With his almost, how do you call this? Parang meron siyang address to the nation at least once a week, sometimes two or three times during the week. His retorts and his criticisms are something that everybody talks about for the next few days, for good or for bad. The president understands, unang-una, that no matter what kind of publicity he gets, it's still publicity and he still gets to be talked about because he's still the only game in town. Umbaga, siya yung superstar dito. Siya yung, how do you call this? Ano ba siya? Siya yung Lady Gaga and everybody else is a wannabe. Di ba? Or if you want, Madonna. And everybody is just talking about him and they're under copying his style, going totally against him. The entire narrative is still Rodrigo Duterte. No matter how you look at it. Magandang tanghali, Attorney Osram. Awesome.
Me chika ka eh, di ba? Chika? Anong chika? <laughs> you said you wanted to talk about something today. Ah, hindi. Yun mo lang, ano, yung mga, mga, mga ano mo, nakikinig ako sa'yo kanina. Mm, one sec. Oh. Yung kaya, hindi nila naintindihan na kung if they failed mm. to remove Duterte in the first uh, five and a half years, <laughs> it's too late to be still fighting oh. him right now. Correct. Hindi na matatakbo yan next year ng presidente. Yep. So if you are looking to run as a for presidential uh, candi as presidential candidate, stop talking about Duterte anymore. <laughs> It will not help you. He's not running. Yep. You will not win over him. Yep. You He's already not the failed. Uh... You already failed. Mm. Mm. Ngayon, eh, sasabihin niyo, eh, yung gobyerno naman yan, eh, bakit? Kung sinong mananalo next year, yun yung gobyerno na kailangan mo tirahin, hindi yung gobyerno niya ngayon, kasi matatapos na yan. <laughs> Idiots. Mm. Ano And we still don't know what they're going to do. Yun yung, ano dito eh, yun yung point natin dito din eh. That... Bubo kasi ito, <laughs> hindi ba nila naintindihan? Look, mm. <laughs> talking uh. trash about the 30 right now, <laughs> well, it's useless. Mm. Tanga lang talagang gumagawa niya si Manny Pacquiao, yan ang ginagawa. Si Lenny Obredo, ganyan yeah. ang ginagawa. Parang di pong, anong pabor sa inyo nito? <laughs> e, and ang, ito yung, ano, ito pa yung taktika naman nila, not the, the strategies destroyed to tell them. The tactic is, uh, in both cases, halimbawa, si Lenny Robredo, yung message niya is more like ineptitude, mm. or bastos, Or because those are the only must oh. end this governance. Uh, Manny Pacquiao is mm. going on a single issue, mm. corruption. corruption. But he cannot even explain it. Uh, oh, Delta Furthermore, nga yan si Pacquiao. <laughs> Furthermore, hindi ah. ko alam pa na nag-senador to. Parang ang feeling ko, ni hindi niya naiintindihan anong ibig sabihin ng corruption. <laughs> Kasi <laughs> nagpe-presenta siya. No, ito, may mga papeles ako. Ito, mm. ito. Finorward ko lahat sa Senate Bill Ribbon Committee. Inabla siya. And, and promise, pag-uwi ko. Ito ha, sinabi niya, promise, pag-uwi ko. Ano, i-explain ko lahat yan. Oh. And we're Ali still ka waiting ka? for that explanation. Naka-uwi na siya. Mami, Ilang, ano na to. bubo ka. Patapos na yung kanyang two-week ano, quarantine. Hindi naman two weeks. Parang ilang days na quarantine. Oh. Wala pa rin tayong naririnig na pero, kwento pero niya. Pero na siyang ano, ginawang uh, press conference. Diba? Even before he went into, eh, hmm. ano, uh. eh, tawag dito, quarantine, ay nagdaldal muna siya <laughs> sa <laughs> media. Di ba? Tuloy-tuloy. He, he keeps talking about corruption. And Ito he, pa. he does not oh. understand this. Mm. Na, okay, what is the relationship between corruption and your winning the presidency? Uh, uh, that you don't want uh, corruption? Mm. Okay. But still going on and on and on against the Duterte about that corruption thing uh -uh. will not help you anymore win stuff. Uh -uh. Hindi ka na nga nanalo sa sapakat sa kakadaldal mo niyan. <laughs> oh, loser ka na, Manny. Diba? Sinimulan mo na ang pagka-loser mo eh. At ang bida ng naratibo mo, Senator Manny, is still President Duterte. <laughs> diba? Labo so, nito tayo. Ang, gusto ninyong matalo yung current administration, pero ang binabanatan ninyo yung hindi nila. kandidato. Diba? Parang, eh, it's yung namatay si Ninoy, ganyan mm. ako, naiyak-iyak ako na, hindi eh, ka nag-iisa. Si yeah. Lenny naman, hindi ka nag-iisip. So, yan. Yan. Um, And then, you have, surprise, surprise, si Mayor Isko. At saka si, ano, Gordon din, nagdadaldal din. Yes. Itong, Pero, unusually ano so, for, with Mayor Isko, he stuck his neck out again. Ano na naman ang ginawa na Isko? Uh, ang mean, gusto niya kasi, sakyan niya yung corruption issue tungkol mm -hmm. dito sa uh, purchases. Na hanggang ngayon, hindi pa rin naliliwanagan eh, na papaliwanagan na na. ni Senator Gordon. No! Di ba eh, ang namimili niyan? Doktor na siya. Doktor na siya ngayon? Naghihikayat wow. siya na, oh, hindi kailangan ng face masks, remdesivir wow. at uh, toxic something lab. Ay, doktor na, na, na si, ano, kikos siya. Ang kailangan ano, daw bilin. Ay, ay? Failing to see na yung kanyang soundbite na yon ah. is to, uh, you know, it's, <laughs> okay, ano uh, for lack of a better word, idiotic. Bakit? Face masks or face shields are preventive. Mm. Yung ano, remdesivir et al. Curative are supposed yun. to ah. be 
therapeutic. Uh-huh. Although the who uh-huh. already said hindi it nga nag-work ang remdesivir. Why he's bringing it up, I have Alam no idea. Alam mo ba magkano na ang isang vial nga ng remdesivir? Mm. 50,000 pesos. I thought it was at 36. Nung nandun tayo sa Davao, uh-huh. meron akong kaibigan na nag, nagkatanong, sino bang ma, uh, makaka, makabili niyan? Mm-hmm. Kasi wala na stock niyan eh. Wala. And only hospitals can get them. Oh, eh, meron tayong kilalang pharmacist, di ba? Oo. Uh-huh. Hindi may contact siya dito sa Maynila. Mm. Anong sinabi sa kanya? 50,000 po isang vial. Imagine that. Oh. So, Pero, uh, so na rin yan? po. <laughs> Tinutulak ni Mayor Isko yung kanyang, ano, supposed to be yung therapeutic uh, mm. medicines mm. na dapat binibili daw ng DOH. Like what? Fili- yun nga, when be severe and toxic. <laughs> ah, baka baka may kickback siya sa 50,000 na vial. <laughs> Parang, uh, uh, ay, alam na. And it, you know, the WHO has already said it doesn't mm. work. So, so mga, ano to may risk ko? Uh, are, are you saying na uh, nagre-reseta na po ba kayo ngayon? Hindi, baka may study siya. Ano? Baka may ano? Hey, may study siya. Na, oh, well, <laughs> uh, we studied, we uh, researched again on the uh, correctness of the WHO's uh, mm. declaration about them this year. Uh-uh. At we have uh, come up with a contrary opinion. Uh-huh. Makita mo yung study mo, ano? Uh, ha? To si Lizumab. Thank you kay Sir Paul ni Meno. Uh, so, the, the, where, this, where is this coming from? Gusto niyang sakyan yung <laughs> issue na nasa Senado ngayon. Hmm. Supposedly because it's so sensational. Tapos paling paling. Pero Mali. since, eh, wala eh. So, ano, eh. Ano din eh, palpak din. Kasi what's going on naman sa Senado? Uh. They're looking at the overpricing mm. of face masks, yes. face shields, and PPEs. By? Ay, yung pagbili ng DOH for themselves. No, uh, pinabili ng DOH yes. sa DBM. Yes, yes. So the first dad that they fired was, bakit DBM? Because DBM pwede naman ang DBM. Oh, pwede oh. sila. Oh. Diba, uh, <laughs> ano, dalawa yung agencies na ganyan eh, na pwedeng bumili that can undertake the procurement for any ah. government agency. Y- you Ngayon, just have to, ano, you have the choice. Hmm. Eh, kung ikaw yung agency, ah. sino ba mamimili? Kami ba? Diba? O magbibid kayo? Kasi merong, ano, meron namang, uh, hmm. meron namang kasing compromise. Kung ah. magbibid kayo, ay, you will have to go through all that hassle. Ito, sabi ni Ma'am Joan Su, Remdesivir and Tocilizumab do not cure COVID. Mm. So yun na nga, ano nangyayari dito? Pusher. <laughs> oh, uh, alam pusher, na. Pusher, pusher. Alam, may kickback oh. to, may kickback. Sa 50,000 oh. sa isang bayal. Or oh. something like that. Or at least... Ano pa ang objective niya? Ano where is the... Ano, niya diba, niya? diba, why why are you... Po, hindi oh. ka doktor. Bobo ka eh. Oh, so, nga, ang advocacy din, usually, ah. ng ating mga ano, public officials is, eh, you don't approach the problem, of the problem of a pandemic from a single point of view. Yung mga tipong, there's a disease, let's cure Para it. Si it doesn't Soto, work that way. Isa pa yan. Oh. Hmm. Senator Tito Soto also came up with his own Nagsasabi naman na nagulat ang ating diskarte. Oh. Bakit may, sino bang may diskarte dito sa covid So, vax, vax, vax. Pagkatapos are... ng six months, hmm. ano, ulitan? Yes, sir! Yes, ano sa tingin course. nyo? Unless somebody Idiot. comes up with a cure. Ano ba itong tao uh, na to? Hindi, yun nga eh, uh, yun punto ko eh. Uh, I am not saying that they, all these people are stupid really? before they said anything. Uh, They're stupid now because they said all of these things. Yun <laughs> nga eh. Uh, Kumbaga, What's the, ano, better to stay silent and be thought a fool than open your mouth and remove all doubt. Ah. Diba? So, Big, nabigla ako dito sa pinagsasabi ni Tito Soto. Ano ba to Nag-vivent lang to sa, ano, sa Twitter o idiot talaga itong isang ang to? Ang inaano niya is, parang, ito, it goes by, it's the old lady Robredo. Where's the plan? Remember this? <laughs> They tried to, ano, they tried to hashtag that. Ah, Lahat that nagsasasabi na, nasan yung plano oh, daw oh. for the pandemic? US because nga, walang plano like, eh. Quezon and all of these people. Where's the plan? Dudes! <laughs> We nobody are saw the pandemic coming. How could you plan for this? At yun yung sinasabi nobody ng presidente. Nobody even ano, thought about, uh, no one expected that the, the, the big disease is a, uh, is the H1N5 something. Ito uh-huh. nga, itong strain na to. We were thinking of the uh, 
eh, mad cow or yung uh, yung mga sa karne, di ba? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, avian flu or yeah. eh, yung uh, hog uh, something disease. Yeah. Yun ang tinitingnan natin because before this pandemic, yun ang malakas, African swine flu. Yeah, yun yung it was animals. The malakas. other was, uh. nag-resurgence, nagkaroon ng resurgence on the usual. Measles. Mm. Mom, Measles. Polio. Uh, biglang polio, nagka-polio. Polio, biglang nagpakita. Uh. And so we were looking at that. And what was the one unspoken pandemic that we were mm. not talking about? This HIV. one. HIV. Oh. No, before uh, this, HIV, yes. HIV. We were, we that, were ignoring it. DOH was bumalik. ignoring it. They Diba? weren't doing anything except mm. uh, giving out antiretrovirals. Thank you, that was a good thing. Mm-hmm. But there, the only other thing available if you were diagnosed with HIV was hospice care. Mm. And remember yung client natin? Mm. There's only one. Uh, there's only one. In the country. I mean, there are probably smaller private programs oh. that are private. Mahal. Outside of Metro Manila and outside of um, San Juan de Dios, mm. but it was unspoken and un, ano, and unacknowledged to this day. And even now, not a single candidate is acknowledging it. how many victims there are. And oh, by the way, more Call people center, have marami. been killed by the AIDS virus than the pandem than yep. this current pandemic has. COVID nineteen uh, has killed not even half uh, of what HIV AIDS killed in this country in the mm. past five years. <laughs> diba? Uh, mm. Ayun ako. So, no, in other words, sino mm. gahanap ng plano na that will definitely, uh. definitively end this pandemic of COVID-19? Mm-hmm. Tonto ka! Walang ganyan. Mm. Walang may plano na alam na kung anong gagawin. Kasi the, the entire globe uh. It's with us. Correct. Discovering new things. Uh-huh. Nagugulat sa mga bagong pinaggagawa nito ni COVID-19 and all its uh, uh-huh. strains. And the vari- uh, ano ba? variation. Or what's uh-huh. that? Var- ano ba yan? Oh, strain, variants. mutation, variants. Oh. Uh-huh. Nagugulat. Kahit ang WHO nagugulat. Tapos sasabihin mo na uh, after this plan, nung gagawin, nagulat yung discussion. Idiot ka. Uh-huh. Ano, so, ano sinasabi mo dyan? We can reduce actually lahat ng mga... And you know what? Ang heavy hitter yung kalaban nila. Kung ang kalaban nilang lahat ay si Presidente Rodrigo Duterte, <laughs> this guy is a heavy hitter. All he has to do is show up dun sa address to the nation and mouth off at these people no Dirt. matter how oh. unreasonable, how dirty, huh? how ano. It's one or two There's lines. Dirt on three you. lines at most. <laughs> And everybody scrambles. Uh-huh. And then, ano yun sagot Matipikon, lang nila? Matipikon, mangingiyak. Oh, diba? bakit yun sila Victim. ganyan? Victim. Uh-huh. Oh. Classic example, Ay, Rose, Senator Dick Gordon's Gordon. reaction. Si Pacquiao. Diba? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Diba? Yung mga, Kita I am, ano, eh. I am honored to be attacked Attack. by the President uh-huh. while fighting for the, Ay, ano, si, si ikaw yung naunang umatake, tonto. <laughs> Ikaw yeah. yung mga uh, unlawful aggressor eh. <laughs> so, yeah. Pag, ano, sa batas kasi, the term unlawful aggression uh, pertains to when another so person uh, is using the uh, self-defense. Mm. Uh, kunwari, itong si A, inatake niya si B, mm. si B, in self-defense, Uh, kills A. Mm, or hurts so, him so uh, bad. One mm. of the reasons for using that self-defense is unlawful aggression. Oh, may unlawful aggression, inunahan ako. Uh, so, uh. lahat ng mga ito, lahat ng kalaban ng presidente actually, are unlawful aggressors here. <laughs> And they are all going down. Tapos mangingiyak. Di ba? Uh, tapos, tapos ngayon, victim sila. Tapos aasa rin ng, ano, ng mga followers ng presidente. Uh, uh, Tatakutin kami, tatawagin ako certain amount of lies. So, diba? dude, diba? bring it. Diba? So, anong gagawin? These people, all they keep talking about is how awful the president is, how dirty his mouth is, how, ano, is. And but they, in the end, they're still talking they're about him. Siya. Which ah. means he's still, again, the only game in town. Ano, problema niyan is, mm. y- you do not gain points mm. towards your Goal. Uh. By doing that, sumisikat ng sumisikat si Duterte, tinatawan kayo ng mara- parami mm. ng paraming mga tao, lumalabas yung idiots kayo at mga trapo kayo, at wala kayong kaalam-alam sa medical science. Tapos, mm. 
bubunuin nyo pa rin yung laban nyo sa eleksyon. Bakit? Mm. Because this does not help you in the election. <laughs> Tonto. Ay. Ay, nirita na naman daw ni Gordon Sinek. Sa <clears throat> Eldon. Sige, we will discuss that later. I have to find Bakit? that. Ano na naman daw? Uh, sige, oh, next ko. na sa Ay, live na sa live. Eh. Pagbabalik ang tambayan ng oras natin, 12.32 ng tanghalan. Muli nating balikan, tambayan sa DWIC. Nagbabalik ang tambayan kasama pa rin sa impila na Tony Awesome Ahmed Paglinawan. Yes! <laughs> And his long-winded speeches. <laughs> Thank you kay Ma'am Abby De Castro para sa... Sabi niya, nagpadala siya ng pangkape po sa inyong dalawa. Pagka tinadala niyo po Kaya ng kapa si Ahmed, gusto niya siyang patulugin. Matutulog ako uh, ganagad dyan in five yeah. minutes. <laughs> okay. <coughs> in the meantime, ang balita nito, and thank you para dun sa mga nag-heads up sa akin, na binabanatan daw ni Senator Gordon, si former BOC and BUCOR Commissioner Nicanor Faildon, Supposedly because he has a connection with Michael Yang. Tatakbo ba si Bael? Allegedly. Ha? Huh? Tatakbo ba si Bael doon ang presidente? Hindi. <laughs> Tarong tanga lang. Hindi <laughs> 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 pa ba siya ng gobyerno? Ano, ano? Hindi pa ba siya ng gobyerno? Hindi rin. Tarong tanga lang. So, ano ginagawa nito, senador na ito? Nang-a-attack yan ang private person o walang... Tarong tanga lang pa rin. Good! Asikasuhay mo yung pisngi mo! Ay, grabe. Labo nito. Yung, ano... Uh, the, no, ang evidence niya is Mr. Michael Yang is supposedly the ninong sa binyag nung anak ni Nick. Eh, ikumpare mo pala yun. <laughs> ninang din ako doon. Oh, so, ano ba yan? Ka ni Gordon. <laughs> so, may connection na kami ni Michael Yang. Ganon. Ang dami kaya namin nung Alabaw. araw na yun. Alabaw mo, Gordon. <laughs> Private person na tinitira mo. Ano yan? Tatakbo yan. <laughs> Parang, naglilitigate ka ba? And, you know, he knows better. Alam oh, natin to eh. Matino yan eh. Abogado to. Matino yan. Galing na akra yan. Naulol na lang si Gordon ng election na. Magaling yung mag He was actually a leg hot shot ha yan. Awesome yan si awesome Gordon. Awesome yan. Hello? And for, to reduce his arguments to something like this, ano to? Guilt by picture? <laughs> guilt by association? <laughs> eh kasi, guilt by binyag? Ganun okay, na ba tayo? Okay, sabihin natin. Uh, Pag-atake kay Pael doon, will, uh, sh ano, will, uh, show a eh, penumbra of yeah. a bad light on the president kasi uh -huh. friends sila ng uh -huh. presidente or something like that so still balik ka pa rin siya si Duterte pa rin tinitira mo but this time <laughs> ginagamit mo ang private person na anak lang ang ginawa mong ano ba ang tawag dyan? nexus of the ano the, uh, of the issue connection uh, yun yung ano uh, niya eh, ano lang yari dito Mag nagpabotok siguro yan sa mukha, no? Kaya wala nang pakiramdam hindi na nararamdaman <laughs> ng ano, anong sinasabi niya. Na anong utak? Di ba? Uh -huh. I, I don't get it really seriously. Ang daming pwedeng sabihin na uh -huh. gulpihin yung mga kalaban nyo eh. Mm -hmm. Yung partido ng presidente. Tirahin mo yung pagkagawa nito mga unggoy sa ano mm -hmm. sa partido niya. Uh -huh. Tapos, yung politics. Uh -huh. Tirahin nyo. Sabihin nyo na itong pandemic, there would be a better way of doing this. And start showing it. Uh, oh, tira kayo ng tira kasi may paildo na nandun na sa bundok nagsasaka na lang yung tao <laughs> titirahin uh, mo thank you kay William Galicia is the one who heads up heads heads up uh, oh sir give us the heads up on this one tumata nga itong uh, mga to eh. mm. so dun sa okay but in the meantime in the, we're in the full swing of a campaign kanya kanya para paraan na nakikita hmm. natin di ba para paraan tignan nyo Buti nga tumahimik si, ano, si uh, former Vice President Jojo Binay. Eh, nakikinig. Tumahimik pa siya o baka na overshadow lang siya ng sarili niya, ano, <laughs> eclipse. I know what you did. Hindi, nakikinig siya. Hindi, tumago siya. Hindi, pero are we talking about the lady eclipse or yung no, we're talking about gentleman Jojo eclipse? Gretos running. Uh, ah, yeah, the former... Okay. Sorry, nadulas na naman. Former Vice President Jojo Pina is running for Senator. Oh, ay, komunista uh, din yan. Kagaya ko. Oh, red tagging yeah. kami siya sa isa. Yung yeah. ano, dahil nung una nakikipatutsada pa. Nakiki, ano. Pero ngayon, lately, pansin ko medyo tumahimik. Kasi ang laki ng bahay niya, napicturan. Pinost. Yeah. Oh, hindi nga, laki ng bahay at naka-aircon pa yung ano, babuyan. yung babuyan niya, di ba? <laughs> Ang usap ng taong to eh, tahimik lang siya, pa-eclipse-eclipse lang siyang ganyan. Oh. Oh, magkaibigan nga sila ni Drillon. So, tahimik lang siya. Eh ngayon, 
ngayon, anong pinakamaganda? Galing ka sa tahimik, parang si, uh-huh. ah, si Ping, wala na, eh, pumalpak na sa agad, eh, sumabay kay Pacquiao eh. Uh-huh. Sino pa ba ang kailangan na yung umentrada ngayon na biglang nakakagulat? Na tahimik ka, tapos biglang, huwag mo na sakyan itong nagsasabi ni, 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 ano, ni Rubedo, uh-huh. nito ni, ni Pacquiao, kasi wala eh, stupid na itong kanilang uh-huh. ginagawa. Come up with something new. Ano? Ay, birahin mo yung partido. Huwag nang panalo uli itong ano na to. Partido ni mm. uh, Coco Pimentel. Dahil uh, wala na nga sila partido. Nag- mm. <laughs> Nagkagulo-ulo na sila eh. Ganyan. Tapos magpakita ka ng uh, plataforma na anong gusto mong gawin na palitan o gusto mong gawin na hindi pa nagagawa mm. without attacking the government right now because this government keeps you where you are. Uh-huh. It keeps you Alive in this uh-huh. pandemic, you idiot. Pwede. Tapos sitirahin mo. Uh-huh. <laughs> Di ba? Para par manalo ka sa eleksyon na hindi mo naman kalaban itong presidente ngayon? Well, alam mo ba? Labo. Uh, this sounds like it's out of the blue. Alam mo ba? Hmm. They're renaming Roosevelt Avenue. At hmm. may, may bill sa Congress, pumasa na sa second reading. They're renaming Roosevelt Avenue to Fernando Po Jr. Avenue. Yung Ace Berhel na tulay. Tapos na yun, napag-usapan. Nagawa na yun. Tapos na yun. Named. <laughs> oh, well, nagpa-botox kasi yun eh. Kaya yeah. ganun. No? So, the, uh, the, the reason I'm raising it is in light mm. of elections, mm. hindi yan coincidence. Natural. Ah. Nag-rename ka, Ferdin- Fernando Po Jr. na, mm. ano, na, mm. na Calye, Quezon mm. so, City. Sino makikinabag dyan? Yung doktor na ngayon na, ano, na mm. mayor ng Metro Manila, ng Manila? <laughs> si artista din siya o? Well, ano? of course, yung anak niya, yung senado. Tapos so, yung pangalan kasi ni Grace, nababanggit pa rin bilang kandidato. Hindi pa tayo sure kung anong itatakbo niya. Mm. Si Pero, Grace, tumahimik eh. Uh, tahimik si Grace. Tumahimik siya ngayon. And, uh, well, sh- matalino din ang kuwanti ito si Grace. Mm. Uh, sige, tingnan natin kung yan ang may tinira. Yan ang in-expect ko, yung tumahimik. Uh, Limbawa itong kapatid ni uh, Alan Peter, yung babae, matino uh, yan. Ha? Pag yan ang bumanat ngayon uh, uh, na sumakto, na hindi sumakay dito sa narrative ng mga neoliberal na mga uh, kalukohang sinasabi, yan, ha? yan ang mga ngamada sa Senado. Buti nga nabanggit mo si Alan Peter kaya tano. No, kasi may sinasabi na naman eh, may takto siyang agenda. <laughs> Sa pagka-presidente. <laughs> Malapit ko na siyang tawagin. Di Ayatollah. Ah, Di Ayatollah. Ayatollah Ayat- Ayat- Alan eh. Peter Cayetano. Ah. Kasi teokrasya yan. Ayaw, ayaw, ayaw mo na nga. No? Tawag sa kanya ay uh, uh, Bodhisattva. Ah. Uh, medyo mahirap ah. kasi pronounce. Ah. Ayatollah. Alam Ayatollah mo. Na lang kasi ano bakit? Remember the Ayatollah Ruhola Khomeini ah. was the first theocratic head yes, of yes. Iran. Of any state. No. Oh after they over they deposed the Shah. Mm. So na introduce yung mundo sa uh, idea ano yun, Islamic and, revolution uh, mm. na, na at least at the, in popularly ah, mm. of course in history maraming theocracies, maraming mm. theocratic dictators. Pero siya modern. That, si modern ano, siya. in the modern times Khomeini. it was the Ayatollah mm. uh, uh, Ayatollah Khomeini. Mm. And then, yan na yung pattern ngayon. So ng, yun yung uh, pattern uh, na ini-establish uh, ni Alan Peter Cayetano. <laughs> I mean, if we're going to push the idea to an extreme, uh, di ba? Kasi si gusto Alan niya Peter. daw tumakbo para Christ-centered and Christ-centered. Bible-based mm. yung kanyang governance. Mm. Which, on the face of it, akala mo, wow. It's unconstitutional. You are institutionalizing <laughs> your Bible. You... Uh, Anong tao ito? Abogado din to eh. Sa ating saligang batas, dalawa ang provisyon. Sa yeah, Article oh. 2, Section 2, uh, Section 6, nakalagay doon na uh, the separation of church and state shall be inviolable. <laughs> Sa Article 3, None. nakalagay doon that na, no, may freedom of religion. Ah, tsaka na diba? no, ano, no, ano ba tawag dito? The non- Uh, establishment clause. Uh, you cannot establish a state religion. Uh, uh, Sumahiling sabi. Hindi ka pwede mag-require ng particular religion to serve <laughs> in the civil service. Or read the Bible. Anyo. You can't even make people, force people to read the Bible. Eh, paano kami yung mga ano? Alam uh, ko, <laughs> Now, here's the thing. Uh, pinapasa ngayon yung divorce law. And you know what? Surprisingly, divorce bill. Bilis. Surprisingly, Bilis. One, it's fast, mm. and two, it is supported by the... And it's ano, beautiful, the elegant. In spite of the fact that even Duterte doesn't want it. Oh, but it's elegant. Read it, di ba? Ang ganda. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh. Ang, ang point dito is, we're finally going to enter the 21st century. And here's and one suddenly, guy. And there's an Ayan, Alan Peter Cayetano. Who wants to go wants back to, to the medieval back. ages. <laughs> <laughs> to the dark ages. <laughs> Dalhin mo si Chel Jokno. Uh, Dalhin mo si Chel. Uh, Makasundo kayo sa middle ages. Uh, yeah. Alright. So, but I don't mean to demean the term or to, ano, I apologize if anybody gets offended. Alin but, doon? Ano with nga? the use of the word Ayatollah. <laughs> Ay, ano, Ayatollah is uh, a great guy. This yeah. one uh, does not deserve so to be called the Ayatollah. This isn't too bad. This isn't a slouch either. Oh, no. I put, uh, sinunog niya si, ano eh, si uh, Salman Rushdie. <laughs> no, Muslim na, na lang tuloy mama. In spite of the, the Western narrative <coughs> notwithstanding, hmm. the Ayatollah Khomeini oh, actually ano, gave the world Para si Mao Chitong. Oh, a lesson uh. in cultural relativism. Uh. Diba? You, dis you determine, yung values are determined by your own Gusto culture. Gusto namin. Oh. Hindi natin pwede, ma mag hindi tayo pwede magsabi sa ibang bansa or sa entirely na, different religion that what they're doing is wrong because what they're doing is based on their own belief. Their own culture and their own experience. Mm -mm. So, yan, yan. so, parang si ano, well, if he wasn't so crazy, mm -hmm. is Adam, and the other guy even crazier yeah. than Saddam, itong si, ano, itong si sa Libya, <laughs> si yung namatay na yung ginera doon <laughs> si ano si Kadafi Kadafi yan yung sila eh. yun yung mga awesome na mga uh, nag they said mm. go to hell to America so there are two uh. who are running Alan Peter Cayetano and Manny Pacquiao who seem to be running on the basis of their faith or religion which and is, which they are not work. shy mm. in already giving us a clue. Mm. May clue na tayo of how they're going to run things. Mm. Sila nga lang yung ano. Mm. And they're going to shove their religion down our throats. Ah, itong, kung mayayari yan, si Chabet ang mayayari agad-agad dyan. Ang black <laughs> sa inyo, best friend nyo yan. <laughs> uh, diba? Diba okay. yung ano dito is that... Uh, but they're also counting, and here's the more insulting part dun sa ginagawa ni Senator Cayetano at ni Senator Di Pacquiao. Di na senator yun? Is that they think that, that we're clever. going to believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Akala ba nila yeah, wala na magkikwestiyon yan? May Mayroon pa naman pong kabayo, pero hindi na po natin masyadong sinasakyan because it's cruelty. Uh. Eh, ngayon gusto niyong bumalik doon sa medieval ages. <laughs> na uh, horse shit is all over the roads and stuff. <laughs> Bagay nga kayo doon. In this case, the horse shit is coming from the Senate. Them, from the Senate. <laughs> <them. laughs> oh. <laughs> na, na, di ba, seriously, in this day and age, Labo. hihiritan Labo. mo kami ng Bible-based. Di ba? Uh, There's nothing wrong with Christ, nothing wrong with the Bible. Huh. It's just that if I don't believe it, I'm not going to want it. Oh, eh, pag okay. sinabi ko nga, I don't want to uh, vote for you, I believe I'm Satan. Plus, they're misleading huh. the public so badly. <laughs> maling mali, eh, no? Parang wala, uh, wala Parang, tang hint. Ano, no, <laughs> it's not that, ano, it's not that they're just wrong. Na hindi it's, nila alam yung guys, audience it's, nila. Uh, no, it's that they're still yellow. Hindi <laughs> lang pa rin. Mga uh, neoliberal, nga yan uh, sinasabi yan mo, itong mga, yeah, ano, mga characterized by the Noy Noy Aquino administration, is that these people think they know better than us. And not uh, only that, that they know better than we do, mm. that we should do what they want us mm. to do. Uh, uh, never mind that they are not doing it, or that, that they are doing other things, like for example, mm. hero na, no, yung Pilipinas, si Ninoy Aquino. Sa lahat ng heroes that we know how he died. <coughs> we know how Andres Bonifacio ano, was died. killed in Mount Buntis. Oh. Mm. Si oh. Rizal, ay ah, yun. Pusilada. Oh. Ah. Nagbabaril siya. Oh, eh, si Emilio Aguinaldo, <coughs> how did he die? Uh, Inassassinate yeah. din ba si Emilio? Oh. Emilio, no, he died in the Tumanda. Ah. Tumanda, he died of old oh. age. Mm. So, alam natin paano namatay. Hmm. Uh, diba? Uh, ang premise nung ating pag ginawang hero itong isang to, ay pinatay siya eh. <coughs> diba? Kaya nagpuntaan sa EDSA yung mga tao, million-million. They asked us to mount a revolution. Because them. they killed Ninoy Aquino. Mm. Also, Dalawa na ang presidente na Aquino, uh, we still don't know who killed our hero. Uh, Why? Diba? 
O, oh, baka alam nila. Hindi lang nila sinasabi sa atin. O. Oh. Alam ni Agot Isidro? <laughs> Pero hindi ako sinabihan. Bakit? Uh -huh. Bakit? Dahil uh, disente kayo? Kayo lang nakakaalam o hindi nyo rin alam kung sino pumatay? Mm -hmm. O alam nyo? Mm -hmm. Pero hindi nila lang sinasabi mm -hmm. because it had nothing to do with Ferdinand Marcos. But let's not forget, <laughs> ha, hiding in plain sight is ah. another candidate who has mounted a different sort of campaign. Ano naman? Senator Ping Lacson. Oh, 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 oh. Ano so bang style niya? Si, well, of course, si Senator Ping Lacson portrays himself as objective. Objective. Critical oh. din siya. Oo, oh, okay so, naman siya. But at the same time, pag tama daw ang ginagawa, okay Sakto lang siya. Sakto siya, oh. so, It's so far looking okay, like ano, okay, yung, ano. yung comms niya, more or less. Pero may slide pa rin. Mayroon pa rin sinasabi katangahan to si Ping Lacson. Eh, no? Anong example? Sige nga. <laughs> hindi, hindi yun ang nakikita ko. Ay, so ano sinasabi niya, he's careful. This guy's careful. Hmm. What I'm looking at are his ads. Ads? Ads. Ano, wala pa ako nakikita. Wala pa nakikita. So, dear, general ng bayan. Uh, uniform pa siya. Uh, uh, PNP uh, uniform which I hope still fits him. Brad! And, uh, well, what, what, uh, what tells us about the man? Uh, na ano, unang-una siya yung una naka-breakthrough sa Google AdSense. Oh? It's the first candidate to do that. Siya ang unang-una politiko. On ha? the government side, and I know this for a fact, hmm. that PCOO tried and tried and, and tried they cannot do to it get for the into president. Google hmm. to advertise for this administration mm. and they were they turned down. So, ang ginagawa talaga, even, eh, not, not just Google, I mean, Facebook. to show it on Facebook. Mm, Facebook. Okay? Mm. Eh, tinatabla ng tinatabla ng Facebook. Mm. Eh, liberal eh. <laughs> For five years. Mm. Bakit si Ping Lakso nakalusot? Mm. Uh, ah. Bakit? And why? And he's going to town with it. You mm. open any page and it's general yes. uh, ng bayan. Uh, and, I am fortunate that I do not see any Lenuro Pueda ads. Ha? Ano, Kasi ano? wala ako nakikita ng mga politiko eh. O baka meron eh, hindi ko Siguro. lang binabasa. Siguro. Pero he's mm. all over the place. He's on YouTube. Mm. <laughs> hey! Okay, ano? Sometimes in our own YouTube, lumilitaw yan. Of course, it depends on the algorithm of the That's person. That's what I'm talking about. Uh. Yung ginagawa ni Ping Lakson, no matter how uh, uh. dumb this guy is or how, uh, ano bang tawag yan, uh. critical he is, Uh, what he is doing is brilliant. Yan dapat ang ginagawa ng mga maiingay ngayon ng pulong kwenta ang ginagawa. Yan ginagawa ni Ping Lakson. Gawin nyo yan. Yan ang gawin nyo. That's, a, that's an entirely different outside of the box mm -hmm. way of looking at things. Stop attacking the president because you can't do anything to him anymore. So, hindi. Well, <laughs> <laughs> But my concern is, who is funding this? Mm. How did he get into Google mm. so that he can advertise on Facebook? Mm. Who controls Facebook anyway? Is there a particular country or jurisdiction? Tanong natin si Kiko. Huh? America, natural. Si It's the U.S. Mm. Yeah. So his ties to the U.S. and the fact that he makes no secret about his more, ano, American funded nga itong si Gives us the impression, even if some people have a is America, the ano? Bet? He is the America's candidate. Yeah, nga, he is America's okay. bet. He's, yeah, he's not just their bet. But what, what does this mean for our sovereignty? In the past five years, President Duterte, nilayo na tayo mm. sa US and made us a more neutral foreign policy. Yep. Even Ay, China respects us ngayon. Yan. Oh. Dahil tignan mo, sino una nagbigay ng mga vaccine sa atin? China! China! China. Oh. Mm. Sino nga tumutulong sa atin sa mga ano, sa infrastructure program? Hindi tungkol to sa politika, but what mm. they can, ano, it's just out and out simple. <laughs> Pero may nabasa We ako. have issues, of mm. course. Mm. Hindi pa naman tapos yung mga issues yeah. sa West, uh, sa It South China stop. Sea. It It's just stop. one of those things. But the good thing about it, that they said it has not stopped our otherwise good trade mm. and diplomatic relations with exactly. them. As well as an ongoing cultural uh, agreement that mm. goes back to the 70s when Mrs. Marcos yes. got it ano, got it signed through Mao Zedong. Mm, because uh, she... Si Imelda Marcos mm. was considered by Mao as uh, his daughter. Uh, something uh, like that, yeah. Na para siyang anak na ni Mao. Sa ganyan sila ka-close. Uh -huh. Komunista yun, ha? Uh, si Marcos. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, Because Marcos was not against communism. He was against the communist 
eh, rebellion na nangyayari na peke dahil yeah. sa tarlak lang yan siya tinatag. Ayun. At pera pa nang hindi kanya, pera ng kla ng asawa niya. Uh, eto. Hindi ba, hindi ko ba naman papapatay niyan kung ganyan, nung gago ka? Sabi ni Chev, don't forget how Lakson also paid several TikTokers to promote Team Pisot. Most of them are mostly minors. Pisot? Ano yun? Uh, Tilanggap niya na talaga yan. <laughs> Pisot? <laughs> <laughs> Hindi naman uh, sila yun. Is he owned it? <laughs> you want to talk? I'm just reading this. What the hell? Okay. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Uh, Akala so, ko nag-concede na siya ng episode na talaga sila. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, okay. We know Senator Lacson. Nagbayad siya ng ano? Nagbayad siya ng minor? Like, like Lenny. Like oh. Lenny. Oh. Na ano, na nangampanya sa TikTok, nagbayad ng mga TikTokers. Tapos inamin ng mga tangang TikTokers. Eh, binayaran uh, kami, di ginawa namin. Kung mga tumanggi kasi, o, oh, di bistadong-bistado. Oh. This after Lenny kept, ano, talk about trolls, trolls, trolls. Oh. Pansin nyo, natahimik si oh, Lenny. Oo, hindi na siya nagtitrollo ngayon. Trolls, 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 trolls. Ngayon, do we hear Senator Lacson talking about trolls? Wait, kasi sila, after saying it's bad to have trolls, 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 uh, all of you, you're all trolls. Whether it's true or not, trolls tayong lahat, simply uh, because nasasaktan so sila. We're, we're so all... ngayon sila, if you can't beat them, join them, may trolls, trolls na rin sila. Trolls na rin sila. Diba? Ang gusto ko so, malaman si Kiko. Uh, Kiko? Ay, useless naman si Kiko eh, kahit tumakbo yan eh. That's my point. Useless I yan. don't talk about him because you know, there's nothing really significant about him. Significant pa yung asawa niya, but really, I can't Wala, see anything. Wala, siyang ginawa. Anong ginawa ni Kiko yeah. ngayon? May value well, ba si Kiko as a senator? The, the last few years have proven oh, na otherwise. Itong, itong administration na to? Uh, na senador siya? Mm. Ay, useless siya eh. Si Drillon, medyo diba? nakakabisit siya, so mayroon siyang use. Correct. Uh, he is the godfly. Uh. Okay. Now, who, in the last US, the reason I bring up Ping Lacson is in the last US elections, mm. what what happened? U.S. elections, so nag-aao. Ah, oh, Biden won, di ba? Si, ano? But after a huge, very Smart controversial election, di ba? Mm. After they had accused Trump of mm. gaming the last election mm. through the Russians, Sila they, naman. They, so, no, the, the same, at least in, in appearance. Yun yung allegations. Whether against, it's true or not, di ba? Mm. The allegations are, in the U.S., they Not's conducted an election game. that wasn't ano. So, who are we connecting the U.S. elections to now? Smartmatic. And who's the U.S. bet? Si Peng Lakson. So, the everybody else, your small fry. Kasi mm. uh, to coin a phrase or to quote you, ang bobo ng kanilang pagkakabit. Oh, hindi nila naiintindihan yeah. ang ginagawa nila talaga. Sumasun nga lang, di ba? Ah. They're, they're just, they're all about, ano eh, they're all about going through the motions. Uh, Senator Manny, makinig ka. Ah. <laughs> Makinig ka, ano? Makinig ka. What you're doing is you're just aping everybody else with mm. all due respect to Senator mm. Kiko. Uh, you're all just <laughs> gaya, 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 gaya uh. lang kayo. And you're going through the motions, ginagaya nyo lang. Ah, ganito ginagawa nyo uh. sa pag-eleksyon, maninira ng kabila, ah, maninira uh. din ako. Uh. Uh, corruption is the issue. Ah, sige, 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 corruption ang pag-uusapan natin. Wala. But the player, the player here, is Senator Lapson. And Lapson. he's the guy we have to watch out for. Mm. Yeah? Everybody Bakit? else, small fry. Ang dali. Kasi ang agenda ngayon ng Amerika, dahil nagkaleche-leche, ang buhay nila sa Afghanistan and elsewhere yeah. in the Middle East, eh, balik sa China, diba? ang gera. And Trump started the war by accusing uh. China of leaking the virus. Uh. Now, it seems to have found its way home in America. Uh. Mm, sige. Diba? So, uh, let's divert it. Let's divert it to China. Let's use the Philippines. Which because, they have always been doing. Ginagamit uh, naman nila talaga tayo. Against China. Pero dati, hirap na hirap sila in the last five years because hindi cooperative si Duterte. Mm. They're looking for somebody more cooperative now. Yep. And everybody else is cooperative. But just don't forget to put into that list Senator Lapson. Babalik ang, ang, ano, ang uh, US bases dito sa Pilipinas. Because of the withdrawal of the U.S. in the most of the <coughs> midi, ma, uh, Middle e Eastern war zones, uh, uh, war theater. Babalik yan dito. And uh, they will bring it to China and um, probably North Korea. The and American we, industrial uh, war machine is still in full <coughs> Oh, kasi nagkahirap-hirap sila ngayon. Magkakadepresyon na naman yung mga unggoy eh, uh -huh. dahil sa Afghanistan eh. Uh -huh. What do they want? It's another war and they put a war freak war shock 
dude oh. as their president. Uh, what do you expect? <laughs> oh, yeah. uh. So, maraming salamat sa pagsubaybay sa tambayan nitong araw na ito. Ang tabayan ng susunod na programang In the Heart of Business with Ma'am Marupa at isa na yung Sir Dito Gagni. Related happy birthday kay Sir Dito. Birthday niya happy days ago. Hello, uh, Maricar and Maricor <laughs> from uh, Digos. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you sa so pasalubong. Uh, bukas may karambola po tayo. 8 to 10 ng umaga. We'll see you then at Push Tricks at Los Angeles. Tambayan sa DWIZ.